Hello my dear students and this is your Kiran and today in this video we are going to um, deal with the topic uh, Lynch formula like uh, in the previous video I have shown uh, a common relation for uh, uh, all spherical surfaces that is refraction through a spherical surface so we have derived with that uh, relation only we are going to derive this Lynch formula so uh, now you could have understand why I have chosen uh, refraction I mean uh, refraction at a spherical surface uh, in the previous video because if it is not I would have uh, started with this topic in the previous video itself so um, refraction through a spherical surface plays an important role to derive this Lynch formula okay so let's use that relation to derive this uh, lens or lens makers formula here so here i have drawn a, i have taken a convex lens convex lens lens is made up of a glass so its refractive index is n2 here and uh, n1 it is a rarer medium and this is a ra this is a rarer medium and lens here it behaves as a, a denser medium okay so the light rays enters from a rarer medium to denser medium so here uh, O is the point where the object is placed so this will be the incident ray after incident on the uh, uh, glass lens what happens is refraction takes place so initially it forms an image at I it is called as an see here it forms an image at I so this image distance is taken as V this image serves as a uh, object for the second image here can you understand now see the image which is formed uh, at uh, first will serve as an object for the second image okay second image so this V will act as an object for this uh, V dash okay so using this uh, we can write a sign convention here uh, D D O is D O is object okay u and uh, d v d i right d i d i 1 is u d i 1 is v v dash sorry from here to here okay let me write that relation that we derived in the previous video n2 divided by v minus n1 divided by object distance so n2 minus n1 divided by radius of curvature so here th this is the parent equation with this uh, for our convenience we can write n2 divided by v dash image that is formed at i1 minus n1 divided by object distance is u that is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by radius of curvature r1 let this be an equation number one similarly for this first image we have to apply the same formula here so n1 divided by n1 divided by the object is v minus n2 divided by v dash is equal to n1 minus n2 divided by r2 let this be an equation number 2 so before that we have to rewrite this equation number 2 in such a way that uh, see here it comes it as n2 minus n1 right similarly here we, we have to rewrite to make it as n2 minus n1 or you have to rewrite equation number 1 as uh, n1 minus n2 either one of this you can do it so here n1 divided by v minus n2 divided by v dash see listen here this is image this is object okay see here this is image this is object so this v dash image acts as an object for the second image okay fine so here i'm rewriting it as n2 plus n1 divided by r if i take minus as common outside v minus n2 divided by 
v dash is equal to minus n2 minus n1 divided by r1. So let this be an equation number 3. I am going to add these two equations 1 and 3 together. So while adding these two terms get cancelled. Okay, this is virtual image get cancelled. So you will get n1 divided by v and n1 divided by u is equal to see now see image is also formed on n1 that is refractive index n1 and uh, uh, object is also placed on the uh, rarer medium that is uh, n1 see if this is n1 obviously this side also it is n1 right even the formula defines the same okay so image and object both are on the same side but here in this part listen here in this part here we, we have marked it as the image is on n2 which means it is a virtual image it is a virtual image which is formed inside the lens that cannot be seen okay that cannot be seen so just for formula sake we are taking it and it get cancelled automatically saying that uh, both original image and object are placed in denser uh, sorry rarer medium that is n1 so this can be written as n2 minus n1 divided by r this is r1 r1 minus n2 minus n1 divided by this is r2 right this is r2 sorry this is r2 so here it is r2 okay so if i take n1 as common 1 divided by v minus 1 divided by u is equal to here i am taking n2 minus n1 as common so here you will get 1 divided by r1 minus 1 divided by r2 okay so just bringing this to L uh, rhs 1 divided by v minus 1 divided by u is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by n1 into 1 divided by r1 minus 1 divided by r2 so 1 divided by v minus 1 divided by u is equal to n2 minus n1 minus n1 divided by n1 again the same thing okay 1 divided by v minus 1 divided by u is equal to so refractive index of n2 divided by n1 can be written as n21 so this will get cancelled and becomes 1 here so this is 1 divided by r1 minus 1 divided by r2 so this is the equation here so let me delete this uh, first part okay listen here so what happens in the sense so this is the equation that we have formed finally right this is the equation number four right okay suppose let's take a condition here if you place an object at infinite distance where the image will be formed this you might have learned in your lower classes itself if an object is at infinite distance the image will will form on uh, the focal point of the lens or the mirror right so if i apply this in the above equation you will get a new equation that is 1 divided by f minus 1 divided by infinity is equal to and rest of the thing remains the same you need not to apply anything here because they haven't mentioned anything about radius of curvatures so this is equation number 5 1 by infinity is always 0 so I'm just comparing these equation number uh, 4 and 5 so if I compare LHS get cancelled completely so remaining part is 1 divided by f is equal to 1 divided by uh, v minus 1 divided by u okay so this is the lens formula or lens makers formula so we have derived very easily using the previous uh, uh, relation so that is the reason why i have chosen uh, uh, refraction uh, at a spherical surface derivation first followed by this uh, lens makers formula here 
okay and i think you guys are clear and if there is any doubt please do let me know or you can uh, drop your queries in the comment box so that i can answer it in the next video or if possible i'll try to answer it very uh, soon in the next video thank you very much guys until then it's bye from your kiran